Welcome Roscoe, I'm Ron, Border Force's longest serving detector dog. Our job is to keep the UK border safe and secure. Let's get started on your first day tour. This is the arrival gate where passengers get off their plane. It's helpful if they get passports and documents ready before they disembark. Why can't they get them later? Well, there can be thousands of people arriving at once, so it saves a lot of time. It's really busy, how do they know where to go? They just follow the signs. See, there's two different ways. There goes Jessie. She's a super sniffer dog. In her first year, she's detected over a million pounds in cash. You must be Roscoe. Welcome. I'm sure we'll see each other around. Better run. I'm needed in cargo. They're using the e-passport gates. They are super quick. Most UK or EU passengers with a chip passport can use them. Chips? Sounds tasty. Not that kind of chip. Now, you have to be over 12 years old to use the gates. That's why the families are queuing. See the younger children? Are you camera shy, Ron? No, but this is a security area, so it's best to leave photos for outside the immigration hall. Is there anything else people can do to help when it's busy? It's really helpful if people open their passport to the photo page to show officers and take off their hats, sunglasses or headphones so we can see their faces clearly. What happens after they get their passports checked? Some people need to collect their baggage and then it's on to customs. The human officers do important checks on people and their baggage. Not everything is allowed in. Am I allowed? We are, but lots of animals aren't. There's limits on alcohol, tobacco and money too. There's lots of help available, but everyone should check before bringing something back from holiday. And is that the end of the journey? They can go home, but we're still working. I'll show you some top secret work that goes on behind the border. Remember, Border Force do a lot more than just check passports. Thank you.